some incomplete edition. And I dare say this might be a little bit of a surprise. I'll give you a clue. Alfred Hitchcock. One of his scariest movies about nature going a little bit berserk was... Exactly. And number five, Bright Spitz. The Birds. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, come on. Birds don't really attack people. <laughs> oh, yes, they do. Try walking through an Arctic term colony. Oh, well, I don't like tips. Well done, sir. Oh, well done. Well, yes, but there are the little birds. <laughs> it's the big, flappy ones you really have to worry about. Every week goes by when there isn't a story in the papers about vicious seagulls bring terror to UK cities. Told you. Of course, the difference between real birds and Hitchcock's birds is one of motive. Hitchcock's were invented to scare the living daylights out of you. But real birds do have a justified excuse. They are simply defending their territory, their eggs, or their children. It's their way of being good parents. As admirable a trait as that is, it is admittedly of little consolation should you actually wander uninvited into their territory. Oh, here he comes. Will he make actual contact? Yes. Can they draw blood? Oh, yes. Do they justify their place as fright number five? Definitely. Oh. Incidentally, though, Hitchcock's birds were mainly crows, which are pretty much harmless to people. Up to now, our delights have come packaged in a number of surfaces, as it were. Fur, feathers, more fur, prickles, and fluff. But so far, there's been no bare skin. Now, what I need is a gratuitous link to the seaside. 